So you want to know the secrets to blowing up? Well, I'm going to share with you the six tips on how to get your work seen. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Adrian. I'm the founder of Artlet, where we work with artists, brands, and entrepreneurs to help them get more exposure. So here's the deal. Every day I have the opportunity to work with tons of amazing and talented individuals, but they each struggle with the same exact thing, and that's getting more exposure. So by the end of this video, you're going to be a pro at getting yourself seen. If you're new to this channel and excited about this topic as I am, don't forget to hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. So tip number one. Have a basic understanding of your audience and the market. The last thing I would want you to do is waste your energy and resources on a disinterested audience. No, no. This is a question you need to answer. Who is your target audience? I want you to comment below who your target audience is. And if you're unable to let me know who your target audience is right now, then you have some work to do. This is super important because if you don't know who your target audience is, you're not going to know how to create content or craft message that would grab their attention. Most artists think, or most people in general, think that their work is for everyone, but that's mistake number one. So once you're done with the fundamentals of tip number one, we can move on to tip number two. Tip number two, build your brand. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of how to do this. And with these, you can definitely take your brand to the next level. Ready? Let's go. So the first example is showcase people using your product. For example, if you're a musician, um, send your music to your friends and have them listen to it and record themselves dancing to it. If you're a painter, after someone purchases your painting, you have someone record them hanging the paintings in their home. If you're a dancer, you can uh, dance with friends and record that. Or uh, if you're an actor, you can create monologues and send it to friends and have them record themselves watching it for the first time. So you have to showcase people experiencing you, experiencing your product. That's how you're going to build a brand. Another example is to tell your story. This one thing changes everything. People like stories. If you tell your story and people can relate to your story, people take action. Humans are emotional. We do things emotionally and justify it with logic. Tell your story. People like stories. It helps to build trust. Tip number three, go to places where your audience hang out. I know this might be hard for some of you and uh, trust me, it was for me as well, it still is, um, but you want to put yourself in a place or a position where you're able to be discovered. Now this is where I get into goal setting. You need to have goals. I can't tell you how many artists have zero goals. You need to have goals that you can commit to so you have a reason to take action. Find and build relationships with those people who have access to the audience that you want. The last thing you want to do is go to an event where there's a lot of key people and you don't take action. That's called a waste of time. You need to go out with a mission to get something done. For example, Tim Ferriss, when he wrote the book, The 4 Hour Work Week, he went to lounges where bloggers hung out and he started a conversation with these bloggers. He didn't go to sell them. He went to build relationships. So when you're at these places where these key people are, you want to build relationships before talking about your product or service. Hey, 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 stick around to the end and I'll give you two bonus tips on stuff you could do right now to get more exposure. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Ready? Let's go. Tip number four, pay to play. So this may or may not cost money, but stick around to the end and I'll share with you some tips my artists and brands do when they're on a budget. So this is where we take action. Create 
a list of influencers who have access to your audience. You want to create this list and reach out to them. Some will ask for pay and some will do it for free. Now, it depends on your budget or if you have a budget at all, but you can reach out to them and ask them to post or share your content. Another thing you could do is if you're a musician, you could find playlists. Um, and reach out to the playlist owner and ask them to put your music in the playlist. Now, many times I've dealt with artists and brands who have issues paying influencers. Influencers are one of the easiest and fastest ways to get your message in front of the right audience because they have access to your audience. So the question is, do you want to get in front of your audience quicker or do you want to take the organic route and do it yourself? I would go with the paying the influencer to get my work seen. It, it's just a lot faster and less, uh, less work. Side note, influencer marketing is one of the best and fastest ways to reach your target audience. But make sure you do your research before you invest your money in them. Not all influencers are equal. A lot of them buy fake followers and, and fake likes. So you want to make sure you're doing your research to see which one will give a better result. Also, you can join sites that feature artists. Uh, some allow you to create profiles to promote your work. Others, they have newsletters that they can feature you in. For example, Artlet. Um, just make sure that you're putting yourself in as many places as possible where you can get your work seen. At this point, I really want you to understand that you're no longer an artist. You're an entrepreneur. You're a marketer. Tip number five. Build a distribution, aka email list. This is the number one reason artists are forgotten or are one hit wonders because they don't have a distribution list. They rely on their agency or the gallery or whoever they work with to notify people of their products. So, my question to you is do you have an email list? Do you have a list of prospective buyers or people who are interested in your work? Imagine having an email list of 100 people. Uh, every time you have a new product or service, you send them an email and every single one of them get that email with your product. You've just notified 100 people that you have a new product. Imagine if that list was 1,000 people. Now you've notified 1,000 people that you have a new product. An email list is vital to your success and growth as an artist. Imagine sending a text message to all the phone numbers you collect saying, hey, I have a new product, check it out. Text messages have pretty much a 90% open rate. Genius, right? Yeah, genius. As of today, you should start collecting name, phone numbers, and emails so you can start notifying people whenever you have a new product or service. Number six, tip number six understanding and using the social media algorithm. Social media's main goal is to keep your attention on their platform. So they reward the profiles that have the highest retention and engagement, which means that you need to make sure your content keeps people on their platform. The social media platform shows people who you last interacted and engaged with so DM people, interact with people, like people's posts, um, start conversations with people. Uh, this will make uh, the algorithm think that you're more likely to stay on their platform because you have a connection with this user. And then there's hashtags, there's photo carousels, there's IG stories, there's geotags and how to best utilize all of these to beat the algorithm on social media. But I could sit here and talk about this all day and different strategies on how to use all of these to effectively get more exposure. But if you want me to talk about anything specifically, leave it in the comment below and I will make a video specifically on that topic. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video if you found value from it.
Also, subscribe to our newsletter and I'll send you more strategies just like this one. So here's the bonus, I didn't forget. Bonus number one, paid advertising. This is the holy grail if you can master it. If you can master this, there's no stop to, to how far you can go. Paid advertising will help put you in front of thousands and thousands of people at a affordable price. Now, I did promise you a strategy that a lot of my clients use who are on a budget. It's called the $1 a day strategy. With only a dollar a day, you can put yourself in front of hundreds of people. Um, and I can show you how. Just uh, leave in the comments if you want me to go into this topic a little bit more, but it's just $1 a day. And a bonus tip number two, be consistent and have great content. With great content and consistency, you will grow exponentially. I can't tell you how many artists that I've worked with who every time we interview them, they say the one thing that they've done is being consistent. This consistency allowed them to build a fan base that became loyal to them, who shared, liked, comment on their work, and then it grew their profile like crazy. So make sure you're consistent with your work and make sure your content is good. Use the tips that I shared with you early on in this video and they will help you to scale and grow even faster.